welcome back so in this video we are going to see the maps uh, app and mac OS. this is right here now this one is centered in the word view uh, so yeah that's good i like it so this is the maps view this one is pretty the uh, kind of uh, universal for the sidebars but basically if you use this a lot that i doubt on a macbook yeah uh, you all your location history will be here just like on uh, your phone when you go when you click on the search bar it has all your recently um, location search location in there now this one is for to find out your current location i it's asking me to open and maybe give it permission so to make changes i have to go here provide my password unlock it so i can give permission maps app for the you can see my current location i can always go ahead and do it uh, you know uncheck it later on but now if I click here it's gonna zoom me into my current location and you can see that this blue dot is basically your um, location now if we were to go and search for a location you can always NYC I'm gonna search that and it's uh, in there and you can see it's under shown up on the right side on the left side on under my recent searches as well now uh, there are a few other things you can see 3d map there is a map mode menu if you click here you can see the default that's we are in let's make it actually a bigger one if we can yeah so default one is the one we are that's uh, and transit is basically for the it looks like for the uh, public transportation because this these are all I remember them they are the uh, subway trains lines this is basically the Long uh, Island Railroad and so now the third one is satellite satellite looks like this oh, we are uh, most of the people use this app I I haven't had a used a uh, GPS for maybe in a decade I had decade I have been using uh, phone uh, Google Google Maps so I actually go with Google Maps rather than the Apple Maps uh, but this one is pretty cool if you can see default view you can see this the, here um, this one it's not showing up here transit probably no okay default if we go here this one is not showing up so basically this enter look around what it does is that oh right now it's uh, highlights uh, and it goes away here so basically this look around feature right here is uh, the Google Street View equivalent so you can actually go and you can go swatch up oh man i miss new york all right so you can go there's a full 360 view of around you can basically actually go uh you know you can go just like in google view uh, sorry it's google street view you can make the window big look around everywhere and with this places uh, new york city East 103rd Street, okay, on the east side. Cool. All right, so to exit out of here, you can either click here or make it uh, make the window uh, smaller. I'm gonna exit out of the look around feature. So for the look around feature, you really have to zoom in for it to pop up here. Now the 3D feature is, you can see it's tilted now and it's 3d is turned on once the 3d is turned on i believe yeah you can see the 3d view of the uh 
Manhattan. Now it's not as impressive as I thought. I thought maybe it will be the real kind of building and picture, but it doesn't look like. Let me see if we can change it to set light. Oh yeah, yeah. Th th this is what I uh, was imagining. The big these big these pictures, like the actual buildings. Wow, it's now you can see that this is the 3d if i double click it it zooms in and you can see all the pictures in real time like not real time but the real pictures of the buildings the actual building not just uh, draw draws of them can i oh yeah that's the maximum i can zoom in some of the uh information i believe is blurred to protect for privacy reason probably but uh, this is pretty good now is there a feature to change the view drop in share what's this add what's this uh, directions that's for the direction all right so you can go around in the So this is the LI Expressway and Steinway. All right, so that's pretty cool as well for the direction. You will actually search from here. For example, if I go to New York, my location, it will give. It's telling me getting there safely. Okay. It will take nine hours, and yeah, it's nine hour non stop uh, journey, but uh, it's going through the lower road. I which one it is 70? Yeah, so we take 70. All right, yep, that sounds about right. Now, this is if you were to walk, how many days it will take? Walking direction not available, <laughs> but that would be fun too if, we, if we, they could calculate how many days it will take to go there now for public transportation that is altogether a different story but it will take about a day and nine hours going through different places different um, mode of transportation between you walking bus and train Amtrak right there so and finally the subway so that's how it will be you will be actually going down to Athens or then Cleveland, then to Pittsburgh, and finally to New York Penn Station. That's cool. And bicycling. Again, it's saying bicycling direction not available. And uh, just curious how long it will take. Uh, so this one, I believe, is for the share. If you want to share this part of the map or for the that location or the uh, driving, driving directions, you can do so from here let's wrap this video here now it's uh yep let's wrap this video here if, if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one